So it's uh, 9.47 on uh, April 13, 2022. I'm just updating um, how things are going in my greenhouse. So um, it's been pretty good. Uh, I put the reflective uh, thing on part of my back wall. Uh, the majority of my back wall so it's insulated and reflective and um, uh, it has improved things quite a bit I think compared to what it would have been because the back wall would have just leaked heat at night so um, I'm just seeing actually what the, the temperature is here yeah so it's 10 degrees 10 degrees on um, I I choose to use that one for measuring because it doesn't get sunshine on it so it's more accurate um so first off is swiss chard so these probably when did these start growing they probably germinated in september there were um um well, we were volunteers i guess and uh, they are just starting to go to seed now so um they're starting to raise up and so it is going to be time to harvest them so, you know harvest them all and replace with uh, tomatoes or um, um, peppers basil and that sort of summer crops this is uh, the um, Welsh onions so these were tiny little ones I had planted in here uh, sometime in the um, in the fall um, it's these are other uh, volunteers so there was a couple of pods of broad beans that i missed and i don't know yet if if it's if there's any point in bringing in broad beans because i haven't seen a single flower set into a pod yet so maybe maybe that's a waste of time so there's more swiss chard here and i better just give you some measurements so it's 25 inches high uh, what's that 64 centimeters uh, this um, planter here so about um, about at this level the, there's a false bottom and there's water from this down so there's a water storage underneath the depth here is 28 inches and uh, the height up to my shelves so I've lowered my shelves because they were too high and this is a, a good height for me but it's 32 inches high and then i have uh, some tommies and um, some plants up here now this is the only one of my peppers that survived so i i brought them all in uh for the winter and uh i didn't bring them in soon enough and then i brought them out again too early and this one was doing fine and uh, then about i don't know three weeks ago it died well i had four of them that survived into um i guess into early march and i just didn't give them enough light in the house so this one here is making a couple of peppers i don't even know which variety this one is um these are squash that are um uh, growing they've got roots coming out at the bottom so they should be it's too cold to plant them out yet so i'll have to repot them and um, lettuce uh, tobacco uh, different types of lettuce and um, what are these uh, some sort of uh, kale stuff and uh, mustard uh, oh yeah my peas so this is a volunteer snow pea so this is the same deal um a pot i missed fell on the ground and um uh, there was found one pea plant so this one i found in maybe october and i planted it in here and didn't expect anything of it but but maybe for next year could plant maybe 20 or 30 of them along the back wall of this thing and um they uh, might produce very nice peas so these are the snow peas um, yeah, I'm not going to eat right now um, in here 
So this is a dry section. I haven't got the water system organized well enough to get water up here at the moment. I, n I never did it actually. I've just been lazy about it. So I've got to um, bring water up here a bit better. So uh, the water used to come to about here. And as you can see here from last year's um, New Zealand spinach, there's a whole lot of um, baby plants. So these plants here, um, I will transplant them out or around the greenhouse later on. These are, um, what are these? Good King Henry's. And the Good King Henry, you can probably see there, I think they got a green fly. A green fly. And uh, Good King Henry here. So this was a tiny little thing earlier on. Oh, here's a tomato that's just um, started to germinate, just a volunteer tomato. Um, so the good King Henry was here too and this is too dry for anything to germinate yet so what I'm going to do because I can't reach this section easily from here so that was a, a failure on my part maybe I should just accept not having this area here and I should have just gone straight to the end and then I could reach here a little but um, what I've got to do here is I'm going to make the window uh, that we can open it and then I'll be able to um, um, do things in there. Oh, and there, here's the uh, water system going. So this this flipped just a moment ago, and um, and uh, water got uh, spread along my plants. Um, I've changed this a little, so um, they. Um, it's uh, underneath here I have um, uh, a barrel of of water and um, it's it collects the, the when when this gets watered automatically the water drips back on the bottom and comes back into the barrel and then the air lift pump pumps it up so uh, you can see the, the pumping going on and I bring it straight up I'm going to modify this a bit again I just sowed these uh, tomatoes here just a little while ago and um, yeah so this is the speed the, the two little air lift pumps are pumping here and over at this side there's one air lift pump going straighter up this is a better idea I think to have it in a pipe like that and it's pumping fairly fast and uh, yeah this one went just before the video started so um, what I'm planning to do is I might, I'll wait and see if any of these, because there's no insects in here, these mightn't pollinate. And if these pollinate, I'm just going to leave them in here and, um, you know, sow, sow more tomatoes and peppers and things around them. But the Swiss chard, like here's one in between, it's going to see the Swiss chard I'm going to bring in and... Um, I'm going to, um, you know, uh, freeze it. So there's a lot of Swiss chard here. And um, and then I'm just going to plant the, the Tommies and the other stuff and, um, you know, give it some nice compost um, to, to keep it going through there. So um, this outside, because it's close to the, the warmth, this um, is a... Um, it's about a two meter, almost two meters. It's the same height as me. Um, uh, say one eighty five um, kale plant, and because this is it's grown up that high because it's close to the um, the warmth of the greenhouse. Um, these have been my air systems. So there's only a little bit of sun in the sky. Uh, the temperature has gone up about a degree since being in here, but. Um, these, uh, they're 80 millimeter computer fans. They're probably all going now, but they're powered by solar panel outside. And they blow air down under the soil and the air comes out. This, oh yeah, they're, they're working. Um, so the, the air comes out cold here, like pretty cold. And this air here, 
on this side it goes exits the greenhouse totally and that's important because plants need co2 so what happens is if you um don't if you um you have to try and keep it warm in here but you also need uh some ventilation so uh, this is my you know forced ventilation system i probably have this one go out here too later on so that we get more input of co2 so uh, the uh, co2 level outside is about 400 ppm and in here like i've measured it and it's you know it might be 350 or it might be less uh when the plants are when the sun is shining and the plants are just sucking up the carbon dioxide so um yeah that's that's the thing you have to have you have now uh, most of the climate battery greenhouses they just circulate the air but if the air is so cold after being under the ground um you might as well release it to the outside and you know use that as uh, to suck in replacement air anyway um i'll just get this and i'll just show you how big the plants are so this is so they're about 14 inches 35 centimeters tall here this planter here is 14 inches uh, 36 high plants are plants are a bit taller here because uh, let's see plants here 22 inches 36 centimeters high so oh well, 36 yeah so that's oh that can't be right I'm reading now oh 56 sorry uh the beans are beans are just over a meter tall uh what else do i have to do oh there it goes again automatic watering you can hear it spray out the water um i can't remember what else oh yeah so so when it got really cold um this wall here uh was it's not insulated so that was bad and it meant that um got really really cold around christmas uh for i don't know a week or 10 days and this section here of the the ground froze the water underneath didn't freeze and it probably wouldn't but the water um yeah this never stopped so so the water underneath didn't freeze uh but yeah it's 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 it was a mistake on my part to not have the this uh outer wall here insulated because my water here is higher up and that probably means that this one here even though it doesn't have that backup of um of water underneath you know for heat storage um because it's just got one barrel here this one uh seemed to do better in, in 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 that period and there was a graduation the plants on this side were growing better than the plants on that side and that's partly because it, that side is closer to the cold and also because at the start of the year i had a different system for the air so the air was coming in through um this side and exiting over here and now uh, the two pipes are independent so air is coming out here from one pipe and out there from another so that means um, uh, the warm air is coming down both sides so both sides are getting nice and warm uh, I should have used instead of using this size pipe uh, I should have used a uh, three inch pipe. I should have used a, um, a different pipe for under the ground because uh, this one, I believe it creates just too much back pressure. Uh, so too much, um, you know, the, the fans, the 80 millimeter fans. It's, these, this is actually a, a nice, easy thing to set up because you can DIY it with um, 
four inch pipe and um, you know yogurt containers and these 80 millimeter fans fit perfectly over the top of the yogurt containers uh, so you can just swap them out pretty easily and i don't have a charge controller i probably should uh what else um yeah and and you can see like well it's not pushing it back but once once it gets uh once it heats a bit more here it will really um you know yeah or sorry once the sun shines a bit more it'll open up see it's opening up uh just from the air being blown down and and this one will too this air here i wonder why this is colder but this this is colder air here it, like it's got more condensation in it than this one not sure why but um uh, oh it might be because it's coming in this is where our air is coming in up at the top of that window mostly so yeah it's um it's got great potential and uh, other people can learn from my mistakes and do this better but the beauty of this is we have um, our winter crop nearly gone this is experimental uh, our winter crop of swiss chard is nearly gone and uh, it's time to start uh, putting in the summer plants in about two weeks time well, one one to two weeks time the summer stuff is going this i'll um, i'll probably give away my good king henry and um, yeah i'll give away that most likely i'll just show some of the outside stuff too well not in this video thank you